What's going on guys, Asian Guy here, bringing you an update from the Japan server of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Holy moly, they've done it again. This countdown to six year anniversary Sugo Fest is absolutely insane. We're gonna have a new legend Rayleigh, who I'm very excited for, a new legend Mihawk and Perona, and some more three day two year units. There are also some other straw hats teased as well. And I gotta say, oh boy. Very exciting stuff. There's also a new game mechanic called the super typing or the super color typing, something like that. And it just increases your damage even further. The new Mihawk and Perona also gives a new form of debuff to the enemy, meaning you can have a new conditional damage boost. So I don't really know where to start with all of this, but first of all, disclaimers, I do want to put this out here. It is a very sunny day, but I'm not going outside one because I don't like going outside and two, as we all know, the virus is running rampant. So if you do have to go outside, I had to go outside yesterday for grocery shopping. Please, if you do have face masks, wear them. If you have gloves, wear them as well. Make sure you thoroughly wash your hands. I know this isn't the kind of content you came here for, but I do feel some sort of responsibility and the need to tell people and emphasize, please minimize the risk as much as possible of spreading the virus. Even if you're healthy, if you are carrying the virus, you can very much pass it on to someone that's vulnerable. You do have the responsibility, the social responsibility, not only for yourself, but for other people as well. But the serious stuff aside, let's get into these new units. So Mihawk and Perona and Rayleigh. As people did expect, we are going to be getting legends that are going to be boosting strength and Psy units, which is the kind of themes that we've been getting with the units that we've had so far. They are also a driven unit here, driven and cerebral. Cerebral getting more love. Cerebral might be overlapping free spirit again to take the number one spot here but these units do only boost strength and psi units let's begin let's begin with the captain special so the captain special of the dual form is mihawk and perona can you guys actually see this yes you can strength and psi characters attack boosted by four times if the strength and psi characters have a color orb any color orb doesn't have to be a matching orb boost attack by 4.5 times hp by 1.3 times Strength and Psy characters will treat all color orbs as beneficial and they will also reduce the appearance rate of recovery and tandem orbs. Now, the singular versions are very much similar, but lower attack boost three times for Mihawk, 3.5 times if they have a color orb, HP 1.3 times. Psy characters will treat strength orbs as beneficial, reduce the rate of recovery and tandem orbs. Perona's one is basically the same thing, but 3.25 times attack instead. And also Psy orbs are beneficial for strength units instead. Now their special will cut HP of all enemies by 20%, which is okay-ish, but if they have barriers, kind of redundant. Change block to matching orbs. Bear in mind, this is only block orbs. It doesn't change recovery in tandem orbs. Change block orbs to matching orbs for one turn. Boost attack against enemies that are affected with the negative debuff by two times for three turns become Mihawk and Perona. Now this is a new debuff, the negative debuff that you can put on your enemies with their switch ability. Now their switch ability, I have a discord link open here, is changes their own orb to a matching orb, heal 1500 HP fixed amount, for one turn affect the enemy with a negative debuff. What this will do will reduce the enemy's attack by 20% and their defense by 20% as well. And you affect that to all enemies for that one turn. If there are two or more enemies, this debuff will go through debuff protection. And for one turn, affect the de negative debuff to all enemies. So don't confuse that. Yeah, so if there are two or more enemies, then this will ignore enemy debuff protection. But if there's an only one enemy, this switch, this negative debuff and will not go through any debuff protection. So essentially, that kind of becomes redundant. So I'm assuming they're gonna make a bunch of content soon where these two will excel, but in comparison, let's say to the latest Shanks and Shanks crew, essentially, this, I would say, is a definitely inferior unit to them. I would not consider this the absolute pinnacle of OPTC tier, like, Luffy, Zoro, um, Osobama, Sanji, and that Shanks, Mihawk, not Shanks, Mihawk, I wish, I wish that was a legend. 
Shanks crew and also Luffy and Law, I would still put those legends above this Mihawk and Perona. But still a fantastic unit, very interesting new mechanic. The other thing worth noting is whether or not this negative debuff will stack with, for example, delay, delay damage increase or increase damage to enemies with defense down or who are poisoned. If it does, this is really, really good. But if it doesn't and it falls into that category of conditional buffs for damage, then honestly, this unit I think will become incredibly niche and will, you know, you'll only be using it against int content or dex content, really. So in that regard, not bad, not bad. And it's also Mihawk and Perona. If it was Mihawk alone, honestly, I would be more hyped. But because Mihawk and Perona, I'm not the biggest fan of Perona. I'm personally not that hyped. I'm definitely more hyped for Rayleigh. I'm not even 100% certain what he does yet. But Rayleigh is one of my favorite characters. And definitely one of my favorite old, you know, old grandpa figures in anime. Because he's so badass. But he is a cerebral and fighter type. Cerebral getting more love again. If I'm not mistaken, that limit break there... Is that cooldown or double special? If that's double, I, I can't remember if that's cooldown or double special. But either way, that's still pretty awesome. And I think that's the first legend ever to have a cooldown limit break. So that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. His captain ability is a boost to Cerebron fighter characters by a flat four times. Excellent. Reduces incoming damage by 15%. That's all right. On the turn that Guidance from the Dark King, so special, has been triggered. Boost own attack by 4.75 times. Alright. 4 times attack boost to everyone and 4.75 times to himself. I see you. I see you. That's that's kind of Douglas Bullet 6 plus S. Special. Guidance from the Dark King. 250 times character attack and typeless damage to one enemy that will ignore any defensive abilities. So that's around 500k damage with Cotton Candy on. A little bit more or actually quite a lot more than that maybe 600k damage with support stat boost as well for one turn boost attack and orbs of cerebral and fighter characters by two times and normal attacks of cerebral and fighter characters will ignore any defensive abilities any defensive abilities and it's an attack and orb boost no other special can be triggered when his special is triggered in this turn his special can't be triggered when another special has already been triggered this turn. So in the same vein as Treasure Map Shanks and Ben Beckman. But that is an insanely good. That is so good. That is so, so, so good. Even, even without the ignore any defensive abilities part, it's solid. But that additional part gives him that niche factor, making him very, very tasty. Any units that have, for example, color affinity, or a conditional buff, buff which activates after you hit X amount of perfects or X amount of turns. You can combine it with this. And that's, that's very tasty. That is very, very, very tasty. I like that. I like that. But having said that, as you guys know, I do prefer characters that do have orb manipulation with their damage boosting specials. And unfortunately, this Rayleigh has no orb manipulation. And he also doesn't have any beneficial orbs in his kit. He literally has no orb control or orb mechanics whatsoever in his kit. Absolutely zero. So, again, I would not say this is top, 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 top tier. It's not up there with Osoba Mask. It's not up there with Luffy Law. It's not up there with the new Shanks crew. And also, who am I missing here? Are those three my pinnacles? And Luffy Zoro. Luffy Zoro. That's the other one as well. And maybe 6 plus Bullet. I would put him on the same level as maybe 6 plus Bullet. But we'll have to wait and see. Do I have his Sailor abilities? His Sailor ability will reduce 5 turns of special seal on himself. That's pretty cool. And his uh, Sailor ability number 2 will counter 5 turns of special rewind on himself as well. So as a sub, also pretty damn useful too. That is pretty cool. That is very, very cool. All right, pretty solid unit. Ivankov next up. This is just rare recruits now. Normal standard five-star rare recruits. Ivankov, captain ability is three ball character attack boosted by 2.5 times. Heals uh, three times his recovery or her recovery at the end of the turn. Special ability, reduce five turns of bind and the special seal on crew. Reduce five turns of defense up on all enemies. Change recovery, tandem badly matching orbs to matching orbs. Cerebral fighter unit. 
not bad decent utility more utility for cerebrals but more utility for fighters as well we've got heracles i can't say his name in english heracles in japanese cerebral striker another cerebral unit strength character attack 2.75 times hp 1.25 times special removes all forms of poison on crew reduce four turns of burn and paralysis when there are five or more strength and side characters on the crew for two turns Boost orbs of strength and side characters by two times. Okay, that's that's okay. That's an okay special. I would not say it's a must-have rare recruit, but we'll have to wait and see. That's a lot of utility in there though. Sai Kuma, I really like the artwork here. This is when he was defending the Mary. And his cerebral his captain's cerebral character attack 2.75 times, HP 1.25 times. Special ability for three turns, plus 0.6 to chain. That's an odd amount, but plus 0.6 to chain for three turns though. For three turns, heal 5,000 HP at the end of the turn. After two turns have passed, change orbs of Cerebrum Powerhouse characters to matching orbs. Alright, that's, that's a pretty interesting special to be honest. So after three turns, or on your third turn, you have a plus 0.6 chain boost and you will have matching orbs. This doesn't affect block orbs though but it does affect all other orbs outside of rainbow and the other ones that can't be converted so kuma i think that kuma is pretty good the kuma and ivankov are both very very good especially this ivankov has so much utility in there and a bunch of orb manipulation too so that ivankov and the kuma are both very very good we have got i believe this is a ray jinbei fighter and cerebral type Ray Jinbei. Boost attack of strength and side characters by three times. Reduce incoming damage by 20%. It's not bad. Special ability will reduce three turns of attack down on crew. For one turn, reduce defense of enemies to zero. A hundred times character attack in strength damage to all enemies. And when the captain is a strength character for one turn, boost color affinity for normal attacks of strength units by two times. We're going back into the Kainu days. Kayu and Jinbei, best of buddies. But that is an okay special as well. And yeah. Well, well, well. That is pretty funky. But let me see if I can get you guys the Sugo Fest information. We're also going to be having a treasure map Shirahoshi. And this is the banner for the incoming Sugo Fest and it says here two times legend raid up second multi the last poster is guaranteed to be a character from 2019 and onwards not a legend though so I'm not sure how I feel about that third multi is guaranteed to be a Sugo Fest so a legend unit these are the unevolved artworks as well if you want to see all this information, but by the way guys, check out the OPTC Discord, the link of which is in the description down below. We are also going to be getting a free pull. Only one, and I don't believe this is going to be two times that rate up, but if it is, that would be nice, but that is what we're going to be getting. And this is a new game mechanic called the super typing so this is kind of like super color affinity and when you activate it what it looks like is this new luffy's captain ability and what this does is when you activate it it will activate super typing for your crew and when you have cut when you have super typing activated i'm not sure how many times you can use this because it you know it's it's on this bar here maybe after one hit it disappears but when you do have super typing activated your color affinity will now increase your damage by 2.5 times against the, for example if you have a strength unit into dex units it will be 2.5 times damage instead of two times a quick into a strength unit 2.5 times and for those that are badly bad type matchups it will be 0.75 times damage instead of 0.5 times so that is a pretty significant amount and yeah, these are what seem to be the new straw hats. And there looks like a button that you can press for the super typing as well. So 
Your natural color affinity will be doing a lot more damage when you have super typing activated. It's a bit annoying that the cost is missing here. Wait. All right, for a moment, I thought that was showing that we could have plus 100 cotton candy on all three of the stats, but seems like this person has put plus 100 cotton candy on HP and recovery. Very, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting stuff. But yeah, that is a lot of information coming out of Japan. But I'm very, very, very much excited. So yeah, bunch of new units, and I'm so excited for this. And I'm, I'm gonna spend, guys. I'm sorry. I really, 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 really. I am such a sucker for really. I'm such a sucker for really. But yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. And um, tier list coming soon on on the first of April. And it won't be an April Fool's tier list. I hope. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But if it is, make sure you remember that I said that. Make sure you remember that I said that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you are going to be pulling on this Sugo Fest, I wish you the absolute best of luck. And yeah, remember to hashtag Dunkabandai with a Bellissimo. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds, please. All over your hands. Clasp your hands while you wash them so you get every little nitty gritty area. And then you wash it all over like this. Please remember to do that and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And bye-bye.